Hello everybody, welcome back. My name's Lynn and normally I would say and here's Luke but I'm by myself at the moment mainly because I want to talk to you guys about perks and skills so this way we can be alone, just you and me and the zombies here oh my goodness so I might turn these forges off I'm crafting axes too and I'm just cooking stone in this one and that can be turned off too. Okay so I want to talk about perks and skills. This is what I have done so far and I'll tell you why. The survivor, everything you eat you get more wellness from it. So even if I eat, I think I've said this before, even if you eat like the dog food and cat food it will give you points towards making your wellness better which I need all the help I can get. Run Forest Run is you just use 10% lamina, uh, less stamina the, the, per rank so I've already got one point in it I will be putting more in really soon like now I'm going to buy one so it'll take me less time to run out of puff basically. Camel I'm not really into that at the moment we, we have plenty of water around us quicker crafting same thing not really interested at the moment maybe later I don't know the fixer um, is really good if you want to repair your things and not lose quality on them so and it'll use less um, repair kits or whatever and it won't take as long so you build that up and when you get to five points it'll be instantly repaired it won't lose quality and it'll give you it'll repair better I suppose in the long run and they are all perks you can tell that because they're at level five generally anything that says 100 is a skill you can build that up get better at that yourself so archery I probably could do with all the help I could get but anyway um, the smithing every time you read a book about armor it will give you some points towards that um, every time I craft anything that's armor related it will go towards that athletics once again it's a skill and I'm 29 so that's running around punching grass um, jumping off of buildings all that sort of stuff um, athletics and health nut, excuse me, I've got to take this parker off because we're in the snow and I was cold. Okay, sorry. Um, health nut and athletics are actually joined together. You need to get 20 athletics to make your health nut better. For this, that means that instead of being a base wellness, I think of 70 it will be it'll go up 10 I think each yeah, 10 points each time so you would have um, instead of a full wellness of 200 you would have full wellness I think of 250 and so on with your base wellness and so on um, once again that's more to me of a, a an end game thing where you've got everything else and you don't really know what to do with it sexual tyrannosaurus you gain stamina quicker with this one once again it's related to athletics you have to be at 40 athletics to get the second lot of perks for that so if you use these two in conjunction with each other really good because you're not losing as much stamina and what you are losing you're gaining straight back knife guy if like math key you're a bit of a, a knife man go for it I don't like to get up close and personal personally <laughs> with um, zombies so not gonna happen decapitator oh there you go got more chance to dismember decapitate the zombie with each rank and I will never get more than probably other than cutting up my meat that's about all I use the knife for so blunt weapons that's just your club 
basically. So every time you hit something with a club, and I mean that applies to going around bashing the grass with your club, it's going to increase it. Pummel Pete, it's just giving more damage to your club. So if you've got the spiked club and it's at 600, it will max it out and make it so that it will do so much more damage and that. Construction, well that's a skill, pretty self-explanatory. I'm up at 64 and that's just building things. And construction tools is building things with your tools like your stone axe, your hammer, wrench, all that sort of stuff. That will get your bits up, your nail gun, it will get the construction tools up. And then from there, these three are linked, which is your concrete mixing, which gets your cement, concrete mix, and the mixer. Steel smithing, which is your forged steel and your steel arrowheads, and your workbench. As I said before, the workbench and concrete mixing, unless you stand in the UI of those, you don't get the points. So early game, it's not worth having them do them in your inventory so you can get the experience and the knowledge. Gunsmithing, this is Luke's department generally. It's a skill. Read the books. That gets you up with it. Every time you level up, you get the different bullets that you can unlock. So if you if you prefer a shotgun, then you need to have 25 gunsmithing points to be able to use to make your, your shells. Hunting rifle 7.62s, the same sort of thing. You need 30 points. I'll leave that to Luke. I'll do that after he's got his 100 points. That's when I start to read the books. Heavy armour is... I actually get less damage while I'm wearing scrap iron or the military armour. Military armour is the new one they've just added in. And that's your military fibre that you use to repair that. Uh, we're wearing scrap iron, so we should receive less damage. But since I've only got one point in it, it's not doing very much. Leatherworking, that increases by reading the leatherworking books, making leather items like um, your boots and all that sort of stuff. And I have leather tanning so that we can make our own leather from the hides that we get. Um, light armor, once again, that's um, risk you. It's the damage you take while wearing it. Things like hide or leather clothing. It's not actually the making of it. It's the wearing of it and the damage you take. Medicine. Oh, that's a pretty self-explanatory skill. Every time you make med kits, you gain health. Uh, you gain experience in it and everything else. Mining tools. This is you using uh, your yeah, axe, pickaxe, and I'm thinking even the shovel. And it makes it gets you to harvest these, as it says, harvest resources faster. This also goes into your minor 69er. They are linked. And with this you actually do more block damage. I'm up to 60, I've got three levels in it. 60% more block damage. So basically it's you could almost say it's making the block weaker. It's not, but it is. And I use 30% less stam. I lose 30% less stamina, so I don't lose my stamina as fast when I'm doing when I have that miscellaneous crafting. Um, that's just when you make anything like your um, spikes, wood spikes, um, barbed wire fences, anything that in defences, the, um, the, what do you call them, the iron bars, all that sort of stuff. And I mean, you make so much in miscellaneous crafting, which is why I've got 73. It's also, if you're making your mini bike chassis, the handlebars, all that sort of stuff. I've just made handlebars for the um, chainsaw that Luke found earlier, and it's purple, because I've got such a high miscellaneous crafting. It's in the low purples, but, it, but it's still purple. So we've gone from having an orange probably up to a green chainsaw. Only because we've got better handle, handlebars on it. Pistols, once again, it's your gunsmithing pistols. Every time you use the gun, 
or the pistol, it does more damage. So the higher you get your pistols and all that sort of stuff, the better you are at killing things. From what I've seen, it takes a lot to level these guys up. So if you really want to do more damage, you're probably better to go in with the outlaw and start getting that up because that will make sure that your pistol does more damage straight away. So you can buy one of them, bang, and it boosts your pistol up a bit. Dead shot, same sort of thing. It will make he'll give you more dismemberment chances apparently but it also makes I think it's only one level of that I'm not sure or it might be five yeah it probably is five because I haven't got to 15 pistols nowhere near it but every time you do that it's every chance that you'll blow off their heads and limbs with every rank rifles same as pistols you got to shoot it to get the levels up and better lead than dead same as the outlaw you build up you buy this one if you really want your rifles to do more damage. Faster, I suppose, is what I'm trying to say. Scavenging. The only way you're going to get scavenging up, unless you put more, your own points into it, is to actually open unopened items. So if it says untouched, you're going to get the points from it. I don't think you get points if someone has opened it already. Does that make sense? If you search something and someone else has already searched it, I don't think you get that, but I'm not sure. Don't quote me. Fast Jetty is simply... It doesn't take as long to loot. I should probably get this one. Because <laughs> I'm a woman and I shop. What can I say? Um, but it opens up things quicker. So, you know, that, how the munitions chests take, I don't know, like 9 or 10, 15, 20 seconds or something to open. Or the cars, how slow they are. That will make it a lot quicker. Quality dough makes your the items quality that you find better. I've only got level one, my scavenging is only at 11 and I can't do much until I get up to 30 to get myself another level. So it is what it is. I may spend points on scavenging because I want to get better quality stuff as soon as I can. Science, that is, uh, what do you call the med kits? Um, schematics, you read that, that does your science. Um, it crafts medical, chemical, mechanical and trap items faster and at better quality. So when it says trap items and mechanical and all that, I'm assuming they mean things like the mullins or, you know, like the lamides and all that sort of stuff. So that's what I think they mean by science. So, and it gives, this is the, the um, attributes that it gives and everything else but once again it's a skill it's something you have to do shotguns as pistols and rifles it's shooting the gun to get that I'm actually wanting to see if we can make a blunderbuss or two and we can although we have got a shotgun now but I doubt that I'll get to use it because Luke will have it but I might look at making myself a blunderbuss one day soon and just having fun and seeing what I can do with that and boomstick is basically getting the damage entity up quicker. It won't increase your shotguns but it will make it so that you get more damage and then you can just slowly build this up yourself or put points into it or whatever and splatter gun is the dismemberment chance with that with the shotgun. Tailoring that is plant fibre or cloth clothing it's something you just do or you don't do, depending on how much you want to have good clothes or not. Tool smithing, that is yes, your pickaxe, fire axe, um, wrench, shovel, stone axe, hammer, all that sort of stuff. I'm at 50 out of 100 and I'm in the 450 range for making my tools. I probably, when I, I don't know how this is working, I'm nearly at purple only at 50 so I don't know how that's working at the moment skip that one for a sec weapon smithing that's Luke he's doing that at the moment and that is all your bows clubs anything that's a weapon if you if we make it or Luke makes it that is the quality mine would be probably lucky to be out of grey to be at this level and treasure hunter 
this is a newbie that's come in in 14, uh, for 14 uh, since we got quests and challenges have come in. So there are quests where you go treasure hunting. And basically, if you don't have this activated, you have, I think it's about 11 by 11 block area. Yeah, it's from 11, like from one side to the other is 11 by 11 basically. And somewhere in that area, there's a chest. And you've got to dig. It's usually two, maybe three down. If it's on the bottom of the ocean, it's probably sitting on the bottom of the ocean and not buried under the sand. So sometimes you hope that it'll just be sitting into the ocean. Um, but if you put points into it, it actually narrows the radius down. So instead of it being, uh, say, say it's a six radius now, it'll come down, it'll be maybe three and then two. So it'll have a smaller area that you have to, have to actually search. So, not something I'm going to be doing this early in my game. Anyway, okay, so I want more stamina. I've already put one point in there just now. I want to buy another one. I've got, still got 46 points. I want to get another fixer. Because if I want to start repairing things, I want it to be that I don't lose them. Because you can actually, if you repair your nail gun and your fixer or your quality of tools that you are repairing is really low, it will just disintegrate and turn into iron and you won't have it anymore. I don't want that to happen. Uh, I'm not going to worry about buying the workbench yet because I don't need it at this moment, but it's there. I can't get minus 69 at the moment because I need to get to 60, so I'm really tempted to put 10 points in for that. Um, I will get couple oh, well I'll get one so I'll get one of fast jetty when I get to 25 I'll buy another one and then I'll also buy another at 30 of the quality Joe and I've got 26 points still should I buy mining and get up so I can get another minus 69 up or I get more of the fixer? Or mm, I don't know. Don't know. So I got 26 points, which means basically I'll probably spend six points here because I'm not buying any of the ammo because Luke's doing that. So that gets me up to 56. I only need to do a little bit more mining and I can get my next minus 69er. I can't spend six points. So that's good. I've, I feel better about that. And let me know maybe what I should do with my another 20 points that I've got. I don't know. I'm actually really tempted, can I be honest, to get the, where is it? Either the shotgun boomstick one a point in that or if we had a hunting rifle I'd be really tempted to buy a point in the better lead than dead so that it actually starts to make that the rifle or the shotgun does more damage so anyway I hope that hasn't been too boring I'm sorry if it was but I wanted to give a bit of an explanation to you guys and I'm going to go back now to doing this um, thanks for watching um, please like comment subscribe share tell everybody about my channel and hopefully we can get it to grow and please come back soon bye for now